Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis concludes apostolic journey to Congo and South Sudan. Patriarch Theophilus, we will not forget His Majesty the King's efforts to preserve the Christian presence in the Holy Land. The clergy of the Latin Patriarchate meets in Amman to discuss the march of the Church. The Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church celebrates the annual pilgrimage to the baptism. We also have Patriarch Pizzabella condemns the attack on the Church of the Imprisonment of Christ in Jerusalem. Welcome back. Millions of Christians in Congo and South Sudan receive His Holiness Pope Francis during a pilgrimage trip by the Supreme Pontiff to these two African countries that lasted several days, which was the 40th visit of His Holiness outside Italian territory. His Majesty King Abdullah, in a message of condolences to the Syrian and Turkish presidents, expressed his deep condolences to the victims of the earthquake that struck areas in Syria and Turkey and directed that assistance be provided to the families of the victims and the injured in these countries. On the other hand, the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem appealed to all believers and people of goodwill to support those affected by the earthquake in Syria and Turkey by providing prayers and humanitarian aid to those affected in the affected areas. A statement issued by His Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella said that in response to the appeal of His Holiness Pope Francis, the Universal Church appeals to all believers of the Patriarchate in Jerusalem to collect donations for the victims of the earthquake, as caring for others is a tangible means of loving Christ and living the Christian faith. His Beatitude called on all parishes, seminaries, apostolic movements and religious societies in the diocese to launch appropriate initiatives and send aid to the affected population. On the occasion of the 24th anniversary of loyalty and pledge of allegiance, His Beatitude the Patriarch of the Holy City and all the works of Jordan and Palestine, Theophilus III, affirmed the pledge of allegiance to His Majesty King Abdullah II, the Hashemite custodian of Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem, and loyalty to the builder of Jordan, His Majesty the late King Hussein bin Talal, and said in a statement issued on this occasion, we will not forget His Majesty's effort to establish the continuity of the Christian presence in the Holy Land, and to carry their issues, endowments, and real estate. In addition to many positions that reflect keenness in paying attention to what the churches are doing, so that the Hashemites always become a living embodiment of the relationship between Muslims and Christians and the safety valve of the Christian presence in this holy land, proceeding from a great legacy of values of coexistence among peoples, brotherhood, and dialogue between followers of religions. His beatitude called at the end of the statement that God protect Jordan, its people, its army and its security services, and to remain an oasis of security and tranquility in the region, and that the Jordanian family remains a living model for the whole world in harmony, love and brotherhood. The clergy of the Latin Patriarchate met with His Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem and the Assistant Bishops at the Monastery of Beit Ziyara in Amman, in a joint and important workshop for the future of the Latin Church in the Holy Land. As the Synod is the responsibility of everyone to participate and walk together towards a better future for the Church. The meeting focused on several things, including spiritual life for the priests of the Patriarchate, which derives from the spirituality of the Good Shepherd, and an overview of the administrative and financial process of the Patriarchate, in addition to discussing the conditions of the schools of the Patriarchate and mechanism of its works and the role of the priest of the parishes. The meeting included dialogue sessions and stations of prayer, it called on the parishioners and believers in the Holy Land to pray for the clergy to strengthen them by the spirit of truth and wisdom so that they walk with strength and determinations toward a better future for the Holy Church and for the good of His children. Within the Christian pilgrimage season to the site of the Baptism of Christ, the Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church in the Kingdom celebrated the annual Pilgrimage Day in the presence of hundreds of pilgrims led by His Eminence Archbishop Hussam Naum and all the priests of the Archdiocese. During the religious celebration, Bishop Naum blessed the audience with the water of the Holy Jordan River. He also delivered a sermon in which he talked about the spiritual and human meaning of baptism and the spread of love, peace and harmony. For his part, Pastor Faiq Haddad called for raising prayers for the permanence of security and stability in Jordan and praying that peace will prevail in Jerusalem, Palestine and other countries of the region. He also thanked the security services for their efforts in maintaining the security and comfort of pilgrims. The scouts of the Latin Monastery Band participated in the pilgrimage activities where they played music in an atmosphere of deep spirituality and faith. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate condemns the continuous attacks targeting the Christian presence in the city of Jerusalem, the latest of which is the attack on the Church of the Imprisonment of Christ in the Old City. His Bittitude Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, condemned the attack on the Church itself, pointing to the increasing attacks on Christian sanctuaries in the Holy City. His Bittitude called on the international community to assume its responsibilities towards these crimes. A settler broke into the church building and broke, destroyed, and tampered with its contents, collectibles, and statues, trying to set them on fire, but the guard at the place confronted him before completing his crime. His Excellency Bishop Christophorus Atallah sponsored the opening ceremony of the Kindergarten of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem in Zarqa Governorate and Archimandrite Andrew Shamiye, spiritual head of Aqaba Governorate and a number of priests, and the General Director of Schools, Mrs. Linim Danat, children of the Orthodox Church, the local community, and parents. In his speech, His Excellency stressed the importance of having a quality advanced kindergarten that serves the parishioners and the local community. For her part, Ms. Lean thanked each person who contributed to the completion of the opening of the kindergarten, pointing to the importance of childhood and the role of kindergarten in preparing a generation full of faith in their life. In St. Michael's Church in Smeki al Karak, a festive Mass was held on the occasion of the Feast of the Lord's Offering to the Temple, presided over by Father Akram Sharbash and the Evangelical Deacon Zahal Hjazin in the presence of the nuns and parishioners in the region. During the Mass, the Order of Residence of the Temple Servants and the Tradition of the Cross was held, where the servants renewed the oath in order to serve the Temple of the Lord. A souvenir was also presented to the Commander Raya Hjazin for her efforts in training the servants. Father Msharbash thanks Sister Angela Bshara and Ms. Raya Hjazin for their efforts in servant training. The Center for the Protection and Freedom of Journalists launched a campaign on social media platforms aimed at introducing hate speech, its dangers and the boundaries between it, and freedom of expression. The Center said that the campaign, which is organized with the support of the British Council in Amman, began on the 5th February and will continue until the 15th of next March, pointing out that the aim of the campaign is to introduce the reason for the spread of the speech and its forms and motives, in addition to highlighting international moves to reduce it. The Center for the Protection of Journalists confirmed that it's continuing its campaigns because of its tangible impact in raising awareness of human rights and perpetuating a culture of difference. On the hope of resurrection and eternal life, Nursat TV office in Jordan, represented by its director Dr. Basim Samaan and the team, offer their condolences on the departure of Archimandrite Konstantin Karmash, pastor of the Annunciation Cathedral in Abdali who moved to heavenly glories after a life full of service and giving to the church and the homeland. Nursat office also extends its sincere condolences to His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III and His Excellency Bishop Christophorus and all the clergy of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate and the Karmash family and their relatives. The Lord gave and the Lord took. Let the name of the Lord be blessed. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news and those were the headlines. Pope Francis concludes apostolic journey to Congo and South Sudan. Patriarch Theophilus, we will not forget His Majesty the King's efforts to preserve the Christian presence in the Holy Land. The clergy of the Latin Patriarchate meets in Amman to discuss the march of the Church. The Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church celebrates the annual pilgrimage to the baptism. We also have Patriarch Pizzabella condemns the attack on the Church of the Imprisonment of Christ in Jerusalem. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.